you want to customize Salesforce and use more than the standard fields that Salesforce provides out of the box. You are in the right place. Welcome to Salesforce Help Club. I'm Isaac, and this is a two minute tutorial. For more in-depth how-to videos, check out my detailed how-to series playlist. Okay, let's dive in. When you first start using Salesforce in a fresh Salesforce org, you're going to have functionality that you can use out of the box. For example, if you're using Sales Cloud, you'll have accounts and contacts and opportunities that you can create that already have fields there for you. These are called standard objects, and the fields that already exist are called standard fields. But the power of Salesforce is that you can customize it to fit your unique needs and use cases. Custom fields help you to extend the use of Salesforce on both standard objects and custom objects. For help on creating a custom object, check out my video in the description. Since fields can store many different types of data and different types of functionality, you should know exactly what you are trying to create before you go in to create it. So let's look really quick at these different types of fields in Salesforce. First off, the most simple are the text fields. Then you get more specific and specialized fields like date, date time, email, phone, percent, number. And then you have more advanced fields like lookup fields, formulas, roll up summaries. But a few that I wanna point out really quick, which I believe are the most popular fields that you'll create over and over are text, checkbox, date and pick list date is straightforward this is just a date and time text can be any string of characters whether that be a combination of numbers and letters or symbols checkbox is a true or false this is straightforward as well it's either checked or it's unchecked and then a pick list is a drop down list of different values that a user can choose an example would be if we go to an opportunity and navigate to the stage field click on that if I click on this dropdown, I'm gonna see different options that I can choose from within this dropdown. Okay, so we know what the different types of fields are. Let's look at how to create one of these custom fields. When I am on my home screen, I will click on the gear icon and click setup. You have to be an admin to be able to do this. Then we'll click on object manager at the top, find the object we wanna create this custom field on. For this example, I'm gonna to go to contact, then we'll click fields and relationships on the left side. And before we create the custom field, we want to search to see if that field exists already. It could exist and not be on a page layout. Therefore, you might not know that it exists. So let's search really quick for preferred name. I don't see that. That's what I'm creating for this example. So let's go ahead and click new. And it's a name. So I'm going to click on text and click next. So the field label and the field name are both labels in a sense. But the label is what the user is going to see here. And the field name is the behind the scenes API name. So let's go ahead and type in preferred name. That's going to fill in for me in the field name. For the length, I'm just going to say 255 here. It's always good to write a description. Help text, this is optional. I recommend it if the label isn't super comprehensive and it's defining what the field is. Or if you have a formula field, it's nice to detail what that formula is calculating behind the scenes. Required lets us say whether or not we want this field to be required when a record is updated or created. We will skip unique for now. Same thing with the external ID. And we don't want a default value for this. We want users to edit this field if there is a preferred name. So we'll click next. The field level security here lets us decide what profiles have access to this field. Right now, I'm just gonna make it visible to everyone and not read only to anyone. If I made it read only, that means they're gonna have access, but they can only read, they can't edit. I'll click next. And then we decide which page layout we want this field to be on. I want to add it to all the page layouts for now. For more info on page layouts, check out my page layout video. All right, we'll click save. We will navigate back to contact and we'll need to give it a second. Sometimes it takes a minute to 10 minutes to update the page layout. And now we can see here on this contact page, there is a preferred name field that I can edit. Make sure to subscribe to see more two minute tutorials or to learn how to advance in your Salesforce career. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you soon.